Introduction What are you busy counting, Rishab? I am counting the number of tiles on the wall, Grandpa. How many are there, Rishab? There are twenty of them, Grandpa. That's right, Rishab. The tiles divide the wall into twenty equal sections. Am I right, Grandpa? You are absolutely right, Rishab. Each section represents one by twentieth of the whole wall, Grandpa. Wonderful! You know your fractions well, Rishab. In this lesson, you will learn more about fractions. Fractions. Consider the Ashoka Chakra. It has twenty-four spokes. The spokes divide the wheel into twenty-four equal parts. Each part is one by twenty-fourth of the whole wheel. A part of the whole is called fraction. Rishab is celebrating his birthday at home with his family members and some close friends. His father gets him his favorite chocolate cake. Here is how Rishab divides the cake among those present at the party. Each person gets one by tenth of the cake. Consider another example. Rishab's father sends him to a nearby shop to get a five hundred rupee note exchanged for hundred rupee notes. The shopkeeper accepts the five hundred rupee note and gives. Five hundred rupee notes in return. Each hundred rupee note is one out of the five hundred rupee notes. Therefore, hundred rupees constitutes one by fifth of five hundred rupees. Working with fractions, we express parts of wholes with the help of fractions. In order to understand fractions better. Let us compute equivalent fractions. Fractions from data. Values of fractional quantities. Let us learn them in detail in our next screens. Equivalent fractions. Let us take a second look at Rishab's birthday cake. It is divided into ten equal parts. Suppose. None of Rishab's friends is interested in the cake. Hence, Rishab offers two pieces of the cake to each member of his family. Each member gets one by ten plus one by ten. That is equal to two by tenth of the cake, which is the same as one by five of the cake. Therefore, two by ten. And one by five represent the same value. Such fractions are called equivalent fractions. Rishab is celebrating Diwali with three cousins. He has forty sparklers. He divides the sparklers into four equal groups of ten each. Quite unexpectedly. Four more cousins of Rishab arrive to celebrate the festival with him. Now Rishab divides the sparklers among the eight cousins, including himself, in less than a minute. Let us see how. Each cousin gets five out of a total forty sparklers. Five by forty is equal to one by eight. Thus. The share of each cousin in the whole is one by eight. Five by forty and one by eight are equivalent fractions. Fractions from data. Let us now compute fractions from data without the help of figures. Sandhya is Rishab's little sister. She sleeps fifteen hours a day. Let us compute the fraction of the day she spends sleeping. Number of hours in a day 
is equal to 24. Number of hours spent in sleep is equal to 15. Fraction of the day spent in sleep is equal to 15 by 24 is equal to 5 by 8. Consider another example. Rishabh's mother owns 20 pairs of footwear. Out of these 20 pairs, 4 pairs are sleepers and the rest are all sandals and shoes. What is the fraction of sandals and shoes owned by Rishabh's mother? Total number of footwear is equal to 20. Pairs of slippers are 4. Pairs of sandals and shoes are 20 minus 4 which is 16. Fraction of sandals and shoes is 16 by 20 which equals 4 by 5. Values of fractional quantities. Let us now learn to compute the values of fractional quantities. Rishabh's mother is in the fruit market. She has bought two and half kgs of apples which cost rupees 80 a kg. How much money did she pay to the fruit seller? Cost of 1 kg of apples is rupees 80. Cost of 2 and half kgs of apples is equal to 2 and half multiplied by 80. Let us first calculate the cost of 2 kgs of apples. Cost of 2 kgs of apples is equal to 2 multiplied by 80 which is equal to rupees 160. Now, let us calculate the cost of half kg of apples. Cost of half kg of apples is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by 80, which is equal to rupees 40. Therefore, total cost of 2 and half kgs of apples is equal to 160 plus 40 which is equal to rupees 200. Rishabh's mother paid rupees 200 for two and half kgs of apple. Now look at another example. Rishabh's grandmother bought five one by four meters of cloth, each meter costing rupees 100. Find the value of five and one by four meters of cloth. Value of 1 meter of cloth is equal to rupees 100. Value of 5 meters of cloth is equal to 5 multiplied by 100, which is equal to rupees 500. Value of 1 by 4 meter of cloth is equal to 1 by 4 multiplied by 100, which is equal to rupees 25. Therefore, total value of 5 and 1 by 4 meters of cloth is 500 plus 25 which is equal to rupees 525. Here is one more example. Riyaz school starts at 7.30 am. She reached the school late by a quarter of an hour. When did she reach the school? School starts at 7.30 a.m. Rhea is laid by is equal to 1 by 4 of an hour. Means 1 by 4 multiplied by 60 minutes. Which is equal to 15 minutes. Rhea reached school at 7.30 plus 15. Which means 7.45 a.m. Summary. Let us summarize what we have learned. The parts of a whole are called fractions. Fractions whose values are the same are called equivalent fractions. Values of fractional quantities can be expressed 
in terms of money. Fractions are used to find time.